Hi everyone, it's Nancy Damiano for Studio Calico. Today I have the Birds and the Bees March Kit and we're going to create a travel album. So these are the cards that came in the Birds and the Bees add-on kit and I'm just flipping through them looking at the different sentiments and colors and then these are the photos from a weekend that we spent at the New Jersey Shore um, and I'm going to combine those into a nice little mini album. So I'm looking for cards to do some journaling on and I've picked three. That's about what I need for the story. And I'm going to gather those up. I'm going to go run them through my printer because I'd rather do it that way than handwrite them. It's just a lot quicker. And here we go. So we've run those through the printer and I'm going to start with the first page and I put basically everything we did this that weekend on that uh, here and there card and then I'm going to add a little bit of stamping to it and I used the rise and shine and make my heart flutter in blue uh, glass slipper and poppy ink now I'm gonna get ready to do the um, title page so I did my stamping first because I knew I was going to use some bumpy things or texturized things chipboard and things to um, decorate that cover and this is a really quick and simple project. I wanted um, to basically get the photos down and the story down, but make it bright and colorful and fun. That first set of pictures was a uh, grid full of a lot of little detail shots. And here um, I printed out a map of Asbury Park. That's where we went. And I really wanted to highlight that. And I just turned it into a JPEG and printed out just like a photo and it has some of the places that we visited. So I thought that was an interesting, nice little touch, really quick and easy thing that you can do. I have stamp sets from the stamp sub, some of the add-ons and the main kit as well. So I added the weekend, I added make my heart a flutter, and here uh, is my husband and I. So I took a nice uh, black and white because it didn't really match the colors in the um, kit. So I just, simple solution, turn it black and white, and there we go. So adding two little lines of text right under the photo, make my heart flutter. And another page is complete. Now this one is a bright blue photo that I cut down to the four inch width of the card. And I added my story about some art murals that we had seen. And now I'm gonna dress it up a little bit because up at the top, it's not really balanced. Um, there's too much text at the bottom. So I'm gonna add just rise and shine in a nice red poppy ink up at the top. And you'll see how that frames out that photo. That's a really quick and easy way um, to add a little something special and balance out the design. This is my favorite card, this room card. And I'm going to dress it up a little bit and personalize it. I'm going to put New Jersey room at, up at the top. And then I felt like it needed a little black something, like it was just too red and too plain. So I added another stamp sentiment from One Little Bird. And this one says, Cultivate Joy. And I love that sentiment. On the right is a photo and it's backed with another photo. So that way I don't have to waste cards or back it with pattern paper. I like to do back and back, back to back photos like that. I think it makes for interesting mini books. So in the middle of this uh, sand sculpture heart that we made, um, had a dead spot sort of in the middle and I thought that was perfect for some stamping. So here we're gonna stamp Big Happy Dreams and that's one of the add-on stamps. And I added a little enamel dot. So again, there you see me photo back to back. And the very last card, which has a lot of journaling on it. But the space at the bottom, I needed to add some color and some text. So I'm going to use that uh, one little bird um, stamp again. And that gives me a nice pop of color there at the bottom. Now for this card, I didn't have any additional journaling or photos, so I thought I would use um, some stamps to sort of dress it up. And I love that there is sort of a travel theme stamp 
this month and it has um, sentiments like love this, ate this, drank this, together, on point, with all these cool little icons. So I thought, why not just make something that looks like, almost like a um, cartoon. So to get that effect, I stamped it randomly and in blue, glass slipper blue and poppy red and yellow and black. Now this did take some time, but I think it was really worth it. I like how eclectic it looked and where I got the idea from, if you look at the picture on the right side, um, we went to this really cool little retro shaved ice place and it just reminded me of all the drawings and all the chalk um, signs that they had up. So I was trying to kind of mimic that same kind of look in that space. So this is the one area probably where I spent the most time in the whole mini album. I'm gonna fast forward that a little bit and now you can see it all completed. All I did was add two little pop dots because I wanted a little bit of texture. There was a lot of flat color going on there, but it turned out pretty cool. And there you can take a little closer look at it. And you can see that next to uh, the little Betty's place, it looks pretty cool. And that completes my mini album. So the cards in this kit are beautiful, bold, um, they're really great for any kind of travel or weekend plans. I'm gonna flip through the whole book so you can see how it looks cohesively. Um, and you can get a little peek at her whole story there. And this project probably took me maybe an hour or so. That was after I printed the pictures, maybe even less. So it's a project that you can finish in one setting and that I love. So there you have it. That's an up close look at this month's Birds and the Bees kit. This is the travel add-on. Um, I also used the main kit, the, the stamp subscription, and the documenter kit. So a little tiny bit from each kit. I hope this inspires you to make a travel album of your own. Uh, for more information on the kits, please see studiocalico.com. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time.